Hello guys, welcome back to the MetLife. So in this video, we're going to talk about the connective tissues. Um, connective tissues basically are different with the epithelial tissues that we talked about. And the main difference is that um, epithelial tissues are the lining uh, on the surfaces of the body, but connective tissue, or which are also called the supportive tissue, are different. They're located in a different part of the body and they vary a lot. Uh, their, their types are a lot. And uh, if you've seen the epithelial tissue, we said that they are a vascular. That means they don't have any vessels in them. Uh, this is opposite with the connective tissue. They are vascular. So they have uh, blood vessels in them. And their structure is not like epithelial. In the epithelial tissues, we had a free apical surface and we had some uh, basal surface, basement membrane and things like that. But in the connective tissue, we have two major uh, divisions. We have the cells and the extracellular matrix. So now let's look at the structure of the connective tissue. Okay, here. Uh, so there are three major leaders, uh, three classes of compartment, or we can say two classes of compartment. So first, as I said, we have the cells and we have the extracellular matrix. So in the cells, we have different uh, types of cells, which we'll go to them later on, um, which have migrant cells and resident cells, such as uh, mast cells, plasma cells, lymphocytes, like the immune cells, we have adipose cells, the fat cells, and different types of cells. And then we have fibers and ground substance. So we have two types of uh, fibers, which is actually the elastic fibers and the collagen fibers. And we have uh, the ground substance. So the ground substance is a gel-like structure located in the uh, connective tissue. So the ground substance and the fibers make the extracellular matrix. So cells and the extracellular matrix. Now, here is a, an illustration of a connective tissue. So as I said, <clears throat> these are fibers that you can see. So there are two fibers, collagen fibers and elastic fibers, which will go to them later on a bit. Uh, in a bit. So these blue ones are collagen fibers, and these green ones are elastic fibers, and you can see different cells, like this is a mesenchymal cell, this is adipose, adipocyte or the fat cells, we have fibroblast. So these are the, <clears throat> we have blood vessels, so we have the cells, and uh, we have the fibers, collagen fiber, elastic fibers, and the thing in between this white thing, it's a jelly-like thing. This is what we call the ground substance. So this white thing, the jelly-like thing, the ground substance, plus these fibers make the extracellular matrix. Okay, now let's go to the classification of connective tissue. We can classify them according to um, if they are before birth or after birth. So we call them embryonic if they are before birth and adult connective tissue after birth. So in the embryonic connective tissue, we have the mesenchyme cells and we have the mucous tissue. So now let's start with the embryonic connective tissue. In the embryonic connective tissue, first you have the mesenchyme. So these mesenchymes are the primitive embryonic connective tissue, which means all the other uh, connective tissues in our body are derived from these uh, this mesenchyme connective tissue. And they have a lot of ground substance. Uh, you can see it, right? So these are the cells, these um, dark things. Uh, I don't know, bluish or purplish, these dark stuff. These are the cells. So you can see they're really separated from each other. And there is a lot of distance between them. So this is the ground substance, a lot of ground substance and uh, with uh, less fiber. 
And now the second type of embryonic connective tissue is the mucous tissue. So the mucous tissue is also mostly ground substance, just like uh, the other one we saw, the mesenchyme. So you can see the cells barely and very separated from each other. And mostly you see the ground substance, the ground substance in these ones. And uh, these ones are, uh, which we also call them the Watton's jelly. This is located in the umbilical cord in the uh, fetus. So we have the placental vein, the allantois, placental artery. And so this is where they're located in the umbilical cord in the fetus. And uh, this is what we call the Watton's jelly or the mucous tissue. And surprisingly, uh, they are also located in some adult um, parts in the adult people. So like in the tooth pulp inside your uh, teeth and in the nucleus pulposus, which is in the whatever we call it. Okay, and now let's go to the adult connective tissue. We've already discussed about the embryonic connective tissue, now the adult connective tissue. So we have two major divisions, the fibrous connective tissue and specialized connective tissue. So the fibrous connective tissue, uh, wait, let's go through it. So it's called, um, uh, it, it has different names. It's also called connective tissue proper, ordinary connective tissue or generalized connective tissue. And it's one of the tissues present in uh, the adults. Okay, um, one minute. Okay, look over here. The fibrous connective tissue has two main divisions, dense connective tissue and loose connective tissue. This all depends on uh, the extracellular matrix and how it's arranged. And we have, in the dense, we have regular and irregular connective tissue. Now let's go through that. So dense, irregular connective tissue. Look in this picture, there is very little, um, there is very little uh, ground substance. Mostly you can see the fibers and they're closely packed to each other. So they're closely packed and they have a lot of collagen fibers. Here, yeah. these are the collagen fibers, a lot of collagen fibers and they're closely packed to each other. And why we call them, so because they're uh, closely packed to each other, we call them dense. And because they don't run in the same direction, they're very different direction. This one is running in the other direction, this one on the other, so there are many different directions. They don't run in the same direction. That's why we call them irregular, irregular. So these uh, type of tissues are located in the reticular dermis and the submucosa of um, the some uh, glands and organs, and like the respiratory tract. And reticular dermis is where you don't, uh, which is not close to the epithelial tissue. So you are you are not in touch with the epidermis of the skin. So it's the reticular dermis. Now the dense regular, this one has a lot of collagen fibers also, a lot of collagen fibers and they're also closely packed. They're closely packed, that's why we call them dense. And now look, they're running in the same directions. They're very regular in the same directions. They're densely packed and they're running in the same direction. So uh, they're called dense regular connected tissue running in the same direction and closely packed to each other and these uh, types of tissues are located in tendons ligaments and aponeurosis because they are very dense and they're very strong in tendons ligaments aponeurosis and now we have the loose connective tissue that is uh, the second division of the fibrous connective tissue we had dense connective tissue and loose connective tissue. In the dense connective tissue, we had dense regular and dense irregular. Now let's go to the loose connective tissue, which is also called the loose areolar tissue. These ones are loosely packed. If you compare them with the other 
two that we have already seen, there is a lot of uh, ground substance in them, and they are not very closely packed to each other, and very little fibers. Most of them are ground substance, and they are separated from each other. They are loosely packed. And these type of cells, loose areola or loose connective tissue, they're located beneath the epithelium. So as we discussed epithelial before, if you haven't watched the video, I will send, uh, I'll put the link in the description of this video. So you can check it out, uh, the epithelial. He said the epithelial tissues have a free apical surface and a surface that is attached to the connective tissue. So that connective tissue, which is beneath the epithelial tissue, is this loose areolar tissue. Beneath the epithelial tissue, which is uh, also in the lamina propria, and the papillary dermis, which deals with the epidermis of the skin. So uh, the dense irregular connective tissue is the one we said in the reticular dermis, which does not uh, exactly contribute with the uh, uh, epidermis of the skin.